Hi, I'm Ed Sperling. I'm the Editor-in-Chief of Semiconductor Engineering. I'm over at Synopsys with Christian DeQuan, who's going to talk today about physical verification challenges at advanced nodes, 16 nanometers, 7 nanometers, all the way down to 3 nanometers. Chris, what sort of challenges are you seeing in verification? What's changing as we start moving down into the most advanced nodes? You know, what is really challenging is the data size is increasing, the rule complexity is increasing, and, you know, what used to be the, you know, physical verification run overnight is not the case anymore. And customers see multiple day runs, and when in the full physical verification cycle, they have to run this sign-off run 10 or more time. If it's multiple day, you talk about weeks of a physical verification cycle. So is it just a matter of shrinking the time, or is it a matter of doing more in that time as well? I would say it's a little bit both, you know, everybody has a shorter cycle to release their product on the market, right? You don't want to, if you, uh, you know, um, a customer facing uh, product, you don't want to miss the Noel time frame, meaning you really have to hit the time target, but you have also more and more things to run. At the FinFed node, it's not just a few tools that you need to run one after each other, you need to concurrently be able to run several things at the same time. Why don't you draw this out for us? Sure. So what have you drawn out here? I've drawn out a physical verification cycle. Uh, typically, from a customer example, at FinFed node can take 10 weeks or more. And a lot of the focus when you talk about physical verification cycle is on the sign-off. Historically, always been, and customer historically thought that can be run overnight, as we discussed earlier. Uh, about 10 years, 8, 10 years ago, people were start using physical verification in design, and they wanted the same physical verification from sign-off to InDesign to make sure that everything is consistent. Uh, that has been done in uh, place and route environment, custom environment, but there's still a missing part. One of the customer we work with still it's really easy to run DRC on clean design. But what about when you do your chip uh, integration? And it's getting harder as we start getting into heterogeneous designs, right? It's no longer just one processor and one uh, memory, it's now lots of processors and memories scattered all over the chips. That's correct. The, the data size increased drastically. The, uh, the rule gets really complex. You know, you have this delta voltage rule at advanced node, you have the coloring rule. That uh, creates a really long runtime for the usual uh, DRC sign-off or physical verification sign-off. And the chip integration, when you, f for the first time, put your design together, where you put all these blocks that you run in design and put it in your full chip, the first time you run, that's when this complex rule and complexity get in the way. Because you might have some issue when you do integration, block misalignment, field misalignment, that create billions of errors. Does it extend out beyond the chip as well? It certainly it extends the chips in a package, but now you're dealing with integration, not just of chips, if you think about a, a car or a, a complex device, maybe it's connected to a system. So now you have to think about how the signals travel across systems. Yeah, that, I mean, physical verification in itself is not really linked to that. But if you improve your physical verification cycle, you'll be able to do more, you know, reliability check, uh, cross, uh, you know, co-optimization of package and ship with different product too, right? Uh, what we're trying to resolve is not purely a, a PV problem, it's overall a tape out issue for customer, how many things can do before he has to tape out. And does it get more complicated as you move from 10 to 7 to 5? Is it just that many more things that you have to worry about interacting? I think, you know, the physical verification sign off became really challenging at 28 and below. Now with the 16, 14 nanometer, you have the coloring, the data voltage rule that become more important. That's where you start to see multi-day run. And then 10, 7, 5, and so on, the complexity is increasing. The delta voltage rule are more complex. But also the number of polygons that the tool has to handle is increasing also exponentially. So even with something like EUV coming in, where you're getting single patterning for at least a short period of time before you move to 5 nanometers, that's still more things that you have to verify, right? Yeah, it is. And then and, and what we see, you know, with the EUV, the complexity can take a pause. But we know that the next EUV node will also will have coloring in, involved, meaning the complexity took a pause, I would say, for a node or two, but then the complexity is going to carry on. 
you have a lot more interactions than you ever had before as well going on through the chip. Now these things have to be verified and make sure if something is on or if it's not quite all the way on. Now that how does that interact with something else? Now you have potentially billions of transistors on this yes. device. How do you get this through in less time? Okay, there's a couple of approach. Uh, if you look in the PV cycle, you know, there's what we call the brute force that every physical verification product try to get. How can I reduce my performance by putting more CPU, being more able to leverage hierarchy and be overall pure performance play. But we're also looking at from a different angle, right? How can I reduce this over PV uh, cycle? Not talk only about the performance, but how can we reduce this PV cycle increase productivity in design was one part of it, but that's not enough. Now you need to have a way to run quickly with less CPU you first run to see if you have a foundation issue, fundamental issue where uh, the design uh, have a block level uh, overlap. And you know, customers so far were running sign off on that. That took forever with a lot of error already hard to debug, or they were trying to select rule, but that's also takes some time, you have to know which rule to select or not. Ideally, you want to have the tool smart enough to understand that this is the first time or second time that is running the chip integration, and that is going, it doesn't need to run the delta voltage and, and coloring before making sure that, you know, the foundation rule are correct. If you give an, a verification engineer more time or more capability to do something in less time, they're going to say, well, now that we have this extra time, let's do more with it. What's the outcome here? Is it a matter of you can speed the, the uh, time to market, time to tape out by that much more, or is it that you can do more in that extra time that you save? I, I think that what we see most of the time, it, it, no customer say, you know, I can tape out earlier. They just do more check, right? Because the tape out day, most of the time, there's still some a few DRC, there's still some things that are not being optimized. Tape out is tape out. They try to avoid to, to miss the date. Now, uh, what we see in general is this PV cycle, we reduce from, you know, let's say 10 weeks to five weeks. We give a two X productivity. Interestingly is in this old way of working, running sign off multiple times, they were running, let's say 10, uh, 10 run sign off run in 10 weeks. If you do something special with chip integration to make it more efficient, we see customer running 15 plus uh, iteration within the five weeks given. And while they can do that, they can uh, use the CPU to do additional thing, uh, you know, perhaps do another run at ECU, or perhaps doing another uh, electrical rule check or a different uh, kind of sign off run they want to do. Where do you see the problems going forward? If you have this extra amount of time and you can now look at a complex chip with many more transistors and many more devices on it, some parts are always on now. Where do you see the problems cropping up? I think the problem would be really uh, all about tape out, right? If, if we, the first complex complexity is to convince customer to change the usual way of turn, running PV cycle to help them to re get productivity reduced. And the problem is when they you know, show the result to the management, management say, you know what? You might need five weeks less for your department. That's where I could see the problem come. Uh, from from a, um, a positioning viewpoint on, on the design implementation and design uh, to taper time frame, I don't see there is any bad, uh, there's no side effect of doing things smarter, right? Pure performance. Uh, is not going to cut it anymore. You have to be smarter looking at productivity, looking at overall physical verification cycle, and that should allow you to do more checks and more runs and uh, do more things in uh, the same amount of time. And hopefully your management is not going to reduce, uh, you know, the number of uh, weeks you will have to do PV. Christian Dequan, thanks for a great explanation. Thank you. Ed.